Let's try evaluating the sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 over 2n double factorial. So in this case, we are evaluating 1 over 0 double factorial plus 1 over 2 double factorial plus 1 over 4 double factorial and 6 double factorial and so on. So what is this infinite sum going to be? Here I'm defining it the way that it's usually defined such that 0 double factorial is 1 also, negative 1 double factorial is 1, if you're interested. And for even positive integers, such as, who knows, 6, 6 double factorial is going to be the product of all the even numbers from 6 all the way down to 2. And for odd positive integers, such as 5, the double factorial is going to be the product of odd integers from 5 all the way down to 1. So that's how double factorial is defined. So it's the same as factorial, except that when it's even, you multiply the evens. When it's odd, you multiply the odds. So in this case, what is this series going to converge to? Well, we know how to evaluate it if it was sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial, not double factorial, just one factorial sign. And we'll know that this is e. Really, by definition, a lot of people define e to be the sum of this infinite series. And we also know that e to some x power is a sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of x to the nth over n factorial. And of course, in this case, we have e to the first power. So when x is 1, you're just summing up 1 over n factorial, which gets you e. And why am I bringing this up? Mainly because this series looks similar to what we have right here. Of course, they are not quite the same. But who knows, maybe it's going to help us out later on. So now let's actually try to evaluate it. So we have the summation from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 over 2n double factorial. But let's try to rewrite it in a perhaps more familiar form, such as we know 2n is even, so we know 2n is even, just like 6. So we know 2n double factorial is 2n times 2n minus 2, just as we did 6, 6 minus 2, 6 minus 4, times 2n minus 4, times 2n minus 6, all the way to times 4, times 2. So that's what 2n double factorial is going to get us. And we see, because 2n is even, every single one, each and every single one of these factors is going to be even. So one thing we can do is take 2 out, take a factor of 2 out from every single one, from every single one of these parentheses. So what happens when we take 2 out? So we have summation from n equals to 0 to infinity. And how many 2s are we taking out, first of all? Well, we're starting with 2 times 1. Then we're going to 2 times 2, and we're going all the way to 2 times n. So you're taking out 1, 2, 2, 2s, 3, 2s, all the way to n, 2s. So when you take out n, 2s, that's going to be 2 to the nth power. And what's going to be left inside? Well, when you take 2 out of 2n, you're going to have n. When you take 2 out from 2n minus 2, we are going to get n minus 1. When we take 2 out from 2n minus 4, that's going to get us n minus 2, all the way to when you take 2 out from 2, that's going to be 1. So now we have our familiar, our familiar single factorial function. So this is 1 factorial, that's n factorial, because you're multiplying all the numbers from 1 to n. So we have summation of 1 over 2 to the nth times n factorial. And I want to pause for a moment and point out that we have proven that 2n double factorial is equal to 2 to the nth power times n factorial. So we started out with 2n double factorial and we got 2 to the nth times n factorial. And this is true, this identity is true for all integer n. So for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. And you may say, does it work for n equals to 0? And the answer is yes, because 0 double factorial, by definition, is 1. So when you plug in 0, you can verify that this identity is going to work out. So we went from our original summation to this one. And you may say, how do we evaluate this? Well, you may, you may see what's going on when I write it like this. Summation from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the nth power over n factorial. 
if you still don't see it, let me copy what we wrote right here that e to the x is the summation from n equals to 0 to infinity of x to the nth power over n factorial. So let me write this down, over n factorial, and compare the two expressions. We see that in this case, 1 half is our x. So in this case, this entire summation is going to be e to the 1 half or square root of e. So we have shown that our entire summation, this 1 over 0 double factorial plus 1 over 2 double factorial plus 1 over 4 double factorial and so on, evaluate to square root of e. But just for the fun of it, let's try to prove a stronger statement that summation from n equals to 0 to infinity of x to the 2n power over 2n double factorial is e to the x squared over 2. So let's try to prove this and realize that in our particular case, our x was 1. So in our case, our x was 1. So we had a summation of 1 over 2n double factorial is e to the 1 half as we have shown. So let's try to prove this really quickly. So in this case, we have a summation from n equals to 0 to infinity of x to the 2n over, we have shown that 2n double factorial is 2 to the nth times n factorial. And now we know that this thing is summation from n equals to 0 to infinity of x squared over 2 to the nth power over n factorial because we have x to the 2n and we have over 2 to the nth power. And we quickly see that this thing, that this thing is equal to e to the, in this case, our x is x squared over 2. So plug that right into x, getting us e to the x squared over 2. So we have shown this as well.